for picking yes. on G2 where they can be good and bad. And it's just because it is a great equalizer, very aim heavy, very light on uh, on strategy, heavier, a bit heavier on tactics, you know. But, you know, it's it's a map. It's really, really hard to, to really call your home. Now, we'll see if, if Big can do that today. But listen, no matter what happens at this point, FaZe have done something special today. It's yes, shown us a lot. I think they are the better team on both maps at this point. Maybe, you know, Mirage is really close, and so it's a bit of a coin flip. But they just showed so many good rounds. I think it's promising. They're filling big shoes, and this is even with Olaf having a struggle on that last map. His The rest of his team picked up so damn hard. Kirby in the star player positions, showing up. I'm loving how they're arranging themselves on the CT sides. Really nothing but good things to say no matter what happens. But, of course, we also have to say, after this pistol round, of course, and we'll see what happens here. Trade goes back, taps and throws himself into the fire, but he actually causes the rotation. It's a free... A site crossing cat. DJ, where's my X-ray? Thank you. Got <laughs> <laughs> to insert a quarter. <laughs> this man's paid by the button push. I'll dish it out for that. Searson dishing it back into the head of Cold Zera. Olaf looking for some kind of an opening here, but now that Big have their bomb plant, it's really just that one flashbang that's meant to get the CTs back into the action, but they're instead sent pack into the depths of which they came yeah. Big with the first pistol. You know, yeah, and I, I just wanted to, to close out that point. There is a difference, of course, between, you know, playing well in just this one series and this one match and this opening, whatever, versus Big, where it looked like Big are doing well, but FaZe, you know, who knows, hard to prepare for all this stuff. It's the consistency afterwards that will mean a lot more. Mm -hmm. You know, everything would have led you to believe that, you know, FaZe were not even going to play well here. So that's where they blew expectations out of the water. Yes, sir. Uh, whether or not they can continue to do it is another thing. But again, no matter what, after this, scout fight, whether they win or lose this map, yeah, they did something special on map one and two. Cool. And, you know, even when Nico was still sticking around, we started to see that glimmer out of Kierby. Now, tonight, very clearly playing more of a, of a playmaker position, and it's still going well. So, you know, FaZe aren't dead in the water. They're just floating along. Cold Zera trying to float some Deagle damage into Tabson, but he's having none of that. The scout of Olaf now dropped to 14 HP as well, so... Excellent conversion round here from Big. I do mirror Matsu's question on the desk. Where was Searson on the scout? Where was that going down on Nuke, man? Searson on the scout shot, that's supposed to be one of like the, the key pieces to Big's force by victories. Mm -hmm. that, just, that's true. We just didn't see it connecting. Not having the, the, the greatest series for sure. He is definitely was very quiet and his performance is, you know, really, really kind of tanked to be honest. I feel like a lot of the time we're, you know, I spent a lot of time in these matches talking about how good and how much impact Zantaris has. But a, a few more questions for everybody else. Not, not all firing off at the same time, of course, is the main issue. So, FaZe will take the guns they saved and, and move into the next round. And it looks like Olaf is, well, it is just the Antico, so we're not sure where he's going to, he's going to pick, um, what, what spot he's going to be playing on here on Dust 2. But it seems like something of an alien for him. Three Galils, AK, scout on Searson. And hey, you know, 35 and 13, a lot of it is because of how Searson controls mid. Jumping up suicide very often, controlling for the cat push, tagging players through the door, t two tags in a row. He won't know it, but I'm sure he can feel it at this point. So consistent with it. And, you know, these these feeble wooden doors, okay? It, it, with an opper with direct line of sight through the middle of the map, putting them there is so incredibly powerful. And, and seriously, really just kind of emphasizes that to the maximum. Yeah. Very punitive in his scout slash op play. <laughs> Hit him three times this round. <laughs> <laughs> Enough is enough, and Cold Zera is able to answer on Zantaras. That's a Galil picked up for Cold. He's not alone on the catwalk play, but Brokey doing a good job of serving up a little justice. Searson inside of the pit, finding damage versus Kierby. Looks to clean it up with the P250, gets the job done. Brokey still, oh my goodness, 
Thought he picked up that kill, but it was the Galil instead. Cold gunning for the goose, man. And Keto's going to stop him then and there. A hell of a deeg shot coming out of Brokey. Oh, just one more was needed, and they could have robbed it all. But no, it's big with three. He knew where he was. He was lining it up. He's going for the shot. Almost went in, but the damage is still going to be heard. The rebuys will come. will make everybody spend the majority of their dollars. Even though they had a pretty clean start. Really all about the print stream, isn't it? <laughs> all right, not bad. Nice. That's the face I make when I spend forty dollars on sushi. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I was gonna say, Keto, where's your gun, bud? But uh, it, it, there was an AK in spawn. Thought he was leaving without buying. I'll settle down. We'll see if Searson does too. They are not messing with middle. Searson's yeah, domain. He charges down mid. Red carpet rolled out for him. What's the best way to deal with that? You know you can't contest it. That's, ah, you know, it's really FaZe Clan. It's really FaZe Clan to, like, avoid confrontation in the early rounds on CT side. We, we see them take the pacifist route a lot. Yeah, and, I mean, ultimately on Dust 2, you can give it up. If you don't let them out the doors, doesn't matter. If you don't, if you think they've lurked out, that's when it gets a problem. But they're so comfortable with these stacks. Like, see, Rain has forfeited middle, walked over to A. They've got the three lean here, and the A split is coming. We've got the long player stage up. Tizian throws some nades. Actually, are they faking? He's come back to mid. We'll see. Rain's tucked boxes. Flashes go over top. He definitely heard the CT drop. That's Keto in their spawn now. And oh, because of that opening, yep, working it back to the B bomb site. This all falls on Kierby. Molotov holding him off for only a moment, and he can only get the first. So Keto's going to lock himself into the position, goes out for the peak. It's a kill back by Tabson, who's looking to lock down mid with the man advantage firmly in the hands of Big Clan. And they'll have it. They'll get to keep it. Phase concede. 4 0 is the T side start. Calling sick. Calling six, some great rotations here from Big. Following, you know, this is the part that's hard to copy and also hard to play against because you could watch a Big demo, but you can see they specifically follow to kill. But that wouldn't be a surprise to a team watching the demo. The hard part is, how do you adjust when you lose that, when you drop that frag in a match versus Big? So finding a way to stay kind of very fluid and still look very orderly on this T side. And that's an op that gets punished, knocked down. Oh, uh -oh. you're paralyzed in fear here at the blue bit. Oh, my God. Man down. Man got aim punched 600 times. <laughs> yeah, he didn't die from the gunfire. It was from that snap neck. <laughs> he died from whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> there was one imposter among us. There's Tabson's kill on the follow-up. I think I just... Ooh. Just as important as Keto's drop into the CT spawn was Tabson's trade frag there, because you saw that by him getting the trade and locking into mid, they didn't even try and contest any further. Mm. And had he not been there, or had he not even traded, but tucked into the corner, then he would have had to deal with like a 2v or 3vx. Searson finding the headshot into Kierby. Kierby. Guardian bye-bye. <laughs> Kajerby. Mm, what's this one scout going to do about it? Brokey, where are you at? Sitting passive on the A site. There are two players flirting with the idea of rounding long. But Searson sees his prey. And like a hawk. Oh my god, they cannot figure out which smokes they want to throw here at long. <laughs> They're just like trading positions. I'll throw it, you throw it, I'll throw it, you throw it. Okay, now they've got two. And it's follow the leader. Tizian, <laughs> I don't know, he's communicating with his teammates about what to do here. They're having some communication issues. I need a, mic I need a mic'd up. <laughs> yeah, right. Can we get yeah. a mic'd up on this long setup here? Please and thank you. Okay, now you go. No, but you go. All right. Meanwhile, Zantara is going to find success at the B site. So, poor Brokey, the only man at bat. And he falls further back, step after step. He could just try and fixate on the kill versus Zantara's that mm -hmm. could offer an AK over. You know, just you realize you've had to forfeit the A site and the round. Get this solo lurker.
Yeah. It's they, just Santeras. Yeah, they have all three choke points being watched. I mean, they did for a second. All right, Roki. Eagle blaze it. But nothing comes of it. Two deagles re Oh, nice deagle damage. But he can't quite get it over the line. And Olaf can't quite get on the board. Still zero and three. Tizzy in. Oh, gonna make it through. Big Clan five rounds to zero. Instantly on fire here on Dust 2. That's a quick one. It's looking like a quick one. Well. We've seen these leads dissipate, so what, let's see what FaZe Clan can adjust to, to change up. Again, the, the issue is the fluidity on Big Clan. So a way to solve that, of course, is to, is to take some aggression. Like you were pointing out, no one's given any friction. No one's causing any friction for Searson, who's looking down middle, cutting out the middle of the map, scoping in between. Think about this fog of war when he's looking through those mid doors, right? He can completely separate the CTs entirely. So responding to that by, by you know, using a push or having a setup in B where you go like say double push tunnels that's a thought close doors here's an option you know Bomb they drop. get some info here they get some extra damage it helps out a little bit yeah but now they've got to be cautious you know if, if they would all been a couple of steps closer then maybe they could have contested that bomb control tried to deny keto and exit oh, this is interesting so they're I guess worried more about late long Brokey's gonna help Olaf retake it if it does come up cat, they can hold on to this. Really dangerous for Brokey, but um, yeah. But they've got Olaf now in a pretty good support position. Brokey just won't be able to fall back too far. Oh, Olaf, don't walk in or do it. Do it dirty. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, he just needs to play in response to Brokey's contact. But now Brokey, he knows a player slipped by him. Xantara's quick headshot. Frag grenade comes sailing in, does one fifth the damage versus Xantares. Bomb plant for catwalk and no CTs in this position. Instead, they're in their spawn. But they know about Olaf. And Searson has the op advantage versus the pit. It would have to be a hell of an AK shot the other way from Olaf. It's doable. Kierby in the meantime kills Keto. There's the op connection from Searson. Last man's cold Zera. Xantaras, 2 HP. He died to a single shot, and that's exactly what happens. Now it's versus the offer close, and Cold's gonna close. Welcome to the scoreboard, oh, he doesn't have a kit. Clan. Nope, he doesn't have a kit. Oh! I reject your invitation. Oh, that's tough. Sorry. Wow. A really good 1v2. They, he retains the op. Now, man, this is tough because it's the adjustment. Look, they get the info early on. They go for an aggressive opening, which is nice. I think that's something that, that remedies phases situation a little bit, where once Big Clan had enough space, they're like, we know how to win now. It's over. You give us cat mid and long, you know what I mean? And tunnels, like, okay, we'll win. So they try to nab that problem in the butt, nip that problem in the butt by playing closed doors, retaking long. And, you know, however Olaf plays it, as long as he stays alive, it's fine enough, right? But Brokey, he gets smoked by Xantaris coming across Cat. F1 race car peak. I mean, let's call it a straight-on Xantaris peak, because that's what it is. And with that kill untraded, Log Control is almost meaningless. Like, o Olaf can try to retake, but it's about his teammates coming over from B that are going to do most of the heavy lifting. He just has to make sure there's no second lurker. He comes in late. So... Tough one to have Brokey get dropped like that. Oh, that's a grueling smoke grenade, man. The the only thing FaZe wanted this round was to find a player lurking down in tunnels. And the Xbox smoke completely screws it over. Tizian tries to dry cross, and so far so good. Keto's able to lend a helping hand. The opper still out there towards Catwalk, that is. Tabson will finish off Olaf. Cold still nowhere to be found. <laughs> you don't get the save. <laughs> yeah, they're coming for him. Throwing the flashbangs left, right, and center. And how many is he going to take with him? One. And that's it. Tizian headshot, big clan, seven rounds in a row. Mm. Looking crispy. Another rifle. Give it your best shot here. Phase. So clean on these immaculate anti ecos. Sick on the rifle rounds. Everything is looking so good. It's hard to hard to see what FaZe can do better. I personally like to prescribe a double upper push every once in a while. I think it's a very strong tactic for CTs to do. I think holding B tunnels and some people fighting it can be a bit scary, but with an op closing out that angle slowly, if there's only one lurker, 
can be a huge bit of information. Leaving a rifler in tunnels is, is enormous. Finding a way to get the opening kill, though, I think is something that FaZe probably want to continue to try to do because they've already seen what Big can, big will do to them if they are given up, you know, given up like mid and, and cat at the same time. So full buy with grenades, Cure B playing in the B. I wonder if that will change as well. And Cure B and B this time around. Oh, he's actually, yeah, he's already, actually he's already made his way out to the long. I guess he had a spawn there. Cold Zera in the B site. Trying to lock this down. And it's looking, trying to look like a fast B split, but Brokey shuts down Keto, and that slows things down to a grinding halt. But again, it's a mid-round rotation. So quick, so fluid yeah. for Big that have been the scariest part. You say grinding halt, but they actually keep this one going pretty quick, man. They've walked Searson out from Catwalk uncontested. Rain's gonna pop up like a whack-a-mole. And down goes the Opper. So now it should be the halt. I say should be, because Tabson and Tizian respond with headshots apiece. And Brokey, well, he's completely countered out in this position, just opping down in CT spawn. They could post plant for Catwalk. That doesn't really give Olaf a way back into this. Smoke grenade on the corner. Man, this is not going to be that easy. What's the play? Yeah. They, and Terra's going to challenge here. The smoke grenade completely counters Olaf. And if he can get these two players lined up, my god. Zantara is able to get the labored spray. Costs him nearly all his health, Tizian. though. And now Brokey's going to get flanked by Tizian. However, how close is Olaf? That's what Tizian asks himself. It's a challenge on the corner, and Olaf wins it. Takes no damage, oh. and... This time, with certainty, they'll defuse the bomb. That's a weird play by Tizzy, and he had that, right? Just go back to Cat. Yeah. yeah. He, knew, he knows Olaf was long. He still looked pretty confident that he was long, even in that last moment. So, kind of strange. Pretty much a free round there to just uh, rotate around. But either way, maybe he doesn't know he cro I don't know. Not a shot. Not sure exactly. Even if he could have just gotten the kill on the Brokey and then faded back to Xbox, there's no way Olaf crosses and gets on defuse yeah. fast enough. So I was thinking maybe he, he kind of got stuck in that already. last fight. Don't really know. Little, little bit, little bit weird. Mm -hmm. But also, man, disadvantage situation for Big to come that close to winning in yes, the first sir. place. Yep, yep. And now we get all that cash back from Phase. So uh, if they want to, now would be a great time for Big to squander. The little economy that FaZe are trying to restart here. Put it in lockdown. Ut utilities decent enough for FaZe. Only two kits, so keep your eyes on that. Olaf and Kierby with one each. Of course, that's Kierby back to the B site anchor, just tucked in the corner. Three men out long here for big, so. Oh, we got what man. was supposed to be they the fast walked east split. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they're not going to know this at all. Brokey just standing back on the bomb site. Oh, my God. Are they actually pulling back off of this? This is like once the CTs, they're forced to, I mean, they forced to push upper. This could actually work out for the CTs. Mm, except Rain goes parading into Catwalk. Kirby's clearing out tunnels in the meantime. He could catch the tail end of something, but it depends on whether or not Big decide to halt Searson. That's a very crucial kill. Now, all of a sudden, mid wide open, and Coldzera starts to claw this back. But keep your eyes on the radar because the bomb carrier is sprinting into the tunnels. Cold's going to try and stop him. Keto now with a hesitation. Olaf pulls into the station and up. now has a man advantage back. But they've come into this a second time. The B site's still their target, and Cold's oh. going to drop that bomb. It all falls onto Tizian. 15 seconds. Nobody knows what the hell is going on. And Tizian's just going to try to strong arm his way in, but Brokey closes and FaZe Clan take a second. Well, real nasty rifle work from Cold Zera. Hell yeah. At least you got to give him that. That was some pretty nasty FAMAS work there at middle to get the second kill, the third kill with this final bullet. We'll get it from his perspective this time around. Very low on HP by the time this second duel was done. But man, three players die in that spot trying to come out mid to cut off rotations. They all lose their duels. Did big overplay that round. It that was felt, freaky. It felt like a little bit. It was kind of strange. They were giving up the long control for free. They had a great split going on. They killed Rain on Cat. They made it seem like they were falling back. They got the kill into, into lower, but they just didn't execute together when they did any of this. They were just thinking they were so hot in their default. So a bit of a flub. But yeah, again, credit to... Even if Cold Zera dies to the player coming out of tunnels, that round's over. So... Yeah. Yeah, pretty pretty insane round from him from that perspective. Coming back from a 3v5 there. There we go. 
it's, uh, it's not the type of round that I think big are going to get. The next time we're in one of these kinds of flustered mid-round moments, anticipate big playing it a little cooler. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that was frantic. I think they know it. And I don't think they'll let that happen again. We shall see. Time will tell. Molotov, smoke grenades, frags, popping on long. Keto challenging behind Big Blue. Completely on his own here, but he is drawing the attention of two CTs. So the longer he stays alive, the more likely Big can sink their teeth into the B bomb site. That's their target. Searson just clawed one off of long A. So this is just a colonel defense coming out of phase. Who have they have in position? Cold Zera with no utility, and Brokey trying to play the door with Op. Three T's coming outwards, bomb dropped, and it's a flawless hold from FaZe Clan. Monster moves from Cold Zera and Brokey together. Appearing simultaneously to stop that tunnel's aggression. Another round in a row for FaZe Clan. Searson has a long time to save. Game's on, baby. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, looking a bit better, you know, imploring a couple new options. And I, I actually love, I, I love the ideas from Big Clan now that they've really established a lot of, a lot of pressure on the A site. They've shown they can win it. They show they can do it confidently. Their anti goes so long or so strong to now turn their attention to these fast mid to B splits. Like you'd think it'd be the perfect adjustment to catch everyone off guard. But some of the early round nades phase are throwing, they're, they're maintaining that they're still worried about the B hits. And that's been enough to stop Big from fully executing. And sometimes, you know, Brokey has shut down the first player trying to run out mid doors. So it's been a, a key thing that's happened that's made Big Clan change their strategy up. And Cold Zero, he's a beast right now. Yes, sir. He's a beast right now, man. Yeah, a good second kill off the same position. Yeah, boy. Nice. Yeah, nice. Like I yeah, Olaf, man, but who doesn't? Yeah, what a treat to get him back. Yeah. For all we know, we may have never gotten to see him play another game of Counter Strike professionally. Thanks, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> Giving the people what they want. Yeah, what a win-win. We got the Kovacs together and Olaf's in the... I, I love how in Counter-Strike, all the dream storylines, <laughs> they always happen. They just, every single dream roster change, or like... Oh boy, Olaf's blind, but still fighting oh. tooth and nail to the very end. As Rain connects to the head of Searson after having dropped Tabson and closing on Xanteres. So FaZe Clan now within three rounds of big, actually. Yeah. And we'll get the T's back into buy here on the 12th. The only thing that would have been the most interesting would have been like the simp like simple to MIBR or something great. Like, right, yeah, yeah, simple. Yeah. And simple to anywhere, MIBR. basically. <laughs> simple to sprout, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> let's get nuts. Let's get weird. JKS on complexity. JKS complexity, yeah, it's so cool. Listen, if we're not getting new maps, I just want roster changes every day. Santeras <laughs> <laughs> has already got his entry out, eh? And Tapson's hopping into the pit, hoping to hop into the pit. Doesn't quite get there. Now a peek from Olaf to close the round. Uh, Four kills. Uh, that was fast. Four kills. He is super on the board. Really rough nuke. Looking hot on dust, too. Olaf Meister. We'd love to see it. Where's the IKEA Marcus, man? That was an Olaf classic. Never been the same since he got rid of that Ola, uh, that uh, IKEA mark. I love how he's still in a gaming chair one year after retirement. Yeah, she did. <laughs> yes. Love that. He's definitely lying. He's been gaming. Yeah, what do you think he's been playing if it's not Counter Strike? No, he has been. He's just been. He's been on his alt, Meister Olaf. <laughs> no one will ever suspect <laughs> a thing. <laughs> You guys heard of this new FPL talent? Yeah, Meister Olaf. <laughs> Molotov met with resistance. Mm -hmm. The frag grenade lands in the center of the Bermuda Triangle. Tizian takes the place of it. Good about of utility here for a big. So let's see what they have. They're just gonna chuck it all out there. See what sticks. Tizian lands in the face of Rain. Brokey 
snipping one back with the op. Bombs drop, not comfortable whatsoever. Finally, Big get onto the kill feed, but a little too little, a little too late, you'd think. Xanteras with a second kill now alleviates a bit of pressure, and suddenly you see FaZe going from like a hard hold to a retake position. And well, they've done a good enough job of ensuring the retake. No way do they lose this. Xantera is gonna lose his head, the rifles just backed off, let them have what they had. You know, it's like a child throwing a tantrum. Fine, you can have your bomb, but you're going to bed at six. You want candy? I'm gonna dump a bag of sugar on your head. Yeah. <laughs> See how much you want candy. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you on the head with sugar. <laughs> okay, wait a sec. Oh man. I'm not a parent, I can Water. make those jokes. It's good to have you here. You're a little jet lagged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm it's a few get, days late, so get, I wanted to get right into the casting. Yeah, yeah. Can't no, stop just me. Literally landed like four hours ago. But we got him here. Counter strike. Ah, uh, I mean I couldn't pass the chance to cast Olaf. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, he literally started flying the plane. They told him, hey, you're not allowed to do that, but <laughs> And I said, who's gonna stop me? <laughs> All right, let's see what's happening. I mean, let's not let's not forget, okay? Um, this was 7-0. Yeah, 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 true. Six. Very true. And it wasn't easy to get back here. A couple Wait. of really good individual shots. Okay, another opening round. A 4K from Olaf on long. That was part of it. Oh, long. Double flash goes for the peak. Gets Tabson. Man, Olaf's getting down and dirty. 13 kills, eight deaths, back to the top of the scoreboard. There's his 14th of the first half. And as he goes for the reload, Rain provides cover fire. Searson dropped out of this one. Zantara's in the 1v5 clutch attempt. Minute on the clock, no bomb. Olaf strikes him down. Ooh, never mind, we're talking Zantara's peaks. Wow. There's one for you. Slides by, zoom. Slips back in. It was really that, that tizzy in 1v1. Well, it was a sick flank. Yeah. It just could have could have probably just one stop. Like, it changed a lot there with the economy. Um, and then a huge play from Cold Zera, huge, to make sure that they got the repeat win. Everything lined up nicely to set up this comeback in a really tight half. Man, it was looking so solid from Big. Walk out onto the A site. Molotov will land at the feet, but uh, there's just no time. Yeah. Simply no time. And he dies regardless. FaZe have somehow, some way, off of the back of some awesome individual moments, most notably Olaf, time and time again, from 0 7 to 7 rounds each. Mm -hmm. And there is no reason to believe that FaZe won't close this half with a one round edge. I think what's crazy too is just the kill distribution on phase, apart from like one player sometimes, are, are just everybody else is just putting together huge numbers. It's never been too bottom. Oh. Sorry. No, go ahead. Got what, excited. I did, I missed, I was looking at the stats to try to catch us up. What just happened? Brokey collateral. Collat down in suicide? Yes, sir. Holy. What a way to send a message to Big before the second half starts. How do we get back? That's what Big have to ask themselves. You know, Searson, for somebody who was putting out tons of damage through mid at the start of this half, I do feel like there's a direct correlation between him conceding mid control and FaZe Clan starting to win more rounds. Sure. I mean, it's such a big part of the map. Like, it's just an unbelievable amount of emphasis on your opper. One they of the, you know, every other map, you'd say, is closed off the mm -hmm. T side oppers. Dust 2 is the opposite. It's like, almost imperative. It's like they stopped facing him, so he stopped looking for it and by extension of that, stopped getting control of it. Mm. And things have only gone from bad to worse. Searson will try his damnedest to get that eighth round on the board for Big. A potential lineup from Tizian, but he misses the mark. That's three of four CTs coming out from their spawn. Searson versus Cold on site. And ooh, ooh. Searson missing the shot down lower, but completely blindsided, 30 seconds left over. Tizian, 13 kills. Top of the scoreboard for Big goes down. FaZe running it back and getting themselves a one round lead. Will they genuinely close this series? Join us after the break to find out.
Whoa, that's heavy. After we, okay, I'm gonna, I'm still, I'm gonna stick it a big clan. I mean, pick them. So I'm just gonna stick to them because right now, look at the coin flip. But I've already made a prediction, so I'm not gonna go back on that because there's more on the line if I do that than go the other way. So now, instead of being a flip flopper, we're just gonna take a look at Tab Centipity Tab, a player back spawn bomb gets dropped in an awkward spot, and Searson, nice he's not going down. Olaf ready to fight them all, man. Look at this swarm from the big clan. It's a Everyone's 1v1. died here. It's a 1v1 from Zantara's health advantage. Smoke goes down. Rain has bomb. It really depends if Rain... Oh my god, he's trying to walk it back, but Zantara's can see the other side of the smoke. I think he's going to be able to know what's happening, right? Greasy. Wait a second. We've got a tire break. We've got a pit stop here. Rain is holding back in. DJ, I would like a third-person okay. perspective of this... Creepy crawly angle from rain, please. Yeah, let's see how sweaty exactly this. Look is. at this guy. Could it get any sweatier than you that? You tell me. The last time you saw a professional player sitting in this corner. A couple of, just a couple of pixels to work with, really. I mean, this is the ultimate. This is sweat central. Look at the sweaty man right here in the corner, <laughs> sitting here like he's got nothing better to do. Get a life, rain. Oh my god. Twenty bucks says if we cut to his player cam, he's 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 just lounging again, like he was at the start of the round. You know? Yeah. But Hands this off is, the keyboard. But but real talk, this is actually you know good play. It it pulls Zantaris off. It starts to get in his head. And sure. Rain has to create a timing where he can shoot Zantaris in the back of the head or the side of the head because he's such low HP. So, it's it's kind of like the most obvious thing he can do. But at the same time, Zantaris can't assume he's only doing that because yeah. it, it it gets dangerous. However, he's reading the site correctly. Yeah. Right. This yeah. is a straight on gamble, of course. Antares doesn't have any info. He's just making a really good read right now. He's back over there on ramp. Oh, there it is. Whoa, could he have lost there? P250 hits the headshot, and suddenly this one's done. Eight seconds. Flash goes high. Rain needs the kill, and he's not going to quite find it. Big clan with the pistol. Damn, man. I love the grease on that one. Yeah, that was... Dripping. Yeah. Castor oil. Look at that. Tabson's hand started sweating after that. For <laughs> Damn, Rain. And I mean, the, again, like as much as as much as Zantara's gambles on the bomb site, uh -huh. so does Rain. Rain drops mid, goes to B. Perfect bomb mm -hmm. plant. Everything could be going well, but Just instead, purest fifty-fifty you could yeah. possibly have, right? Yeah. And I, I do like when you know, let's say Zantara's doesn't pick a site and he plays in middle or something in between. You know, you you might lose once the bomb goes down, and also you deny against the bomb plant, so. I like picking a site, especially here. The rotations are not too hard. Like he can get over to B pretty quick, no matter what decisions he makes. So I like phase here, cracking open the middle of, of just the middle of mid, and not seeing any CTs, getting tons of information this early on. But the way that I like Big's eco as well, the way that they're spread on the map. Sorry, not eco. What am I talking about? Um, they're anti eco. Damage down at the base of mid. Solid hold as well. With Keto in that corner, really allows the door player to float back and forth. But Olaf kind of welcomes them in. You know, this is a beckoning call. Come get some. And he does tag Xanteras down to half HP. FaZe Clan still very much clumped up in mid. That's two scouts trying to find the mark. Ouch, eat flash. The cat crawl. Trying to bait a footstep. Allow the rotation to come in around to the site. And now that player's on goose. Tabson's in his comfy position. Searson's doing work. There's the scout we were looking for. Oh, man. Oh, he hits every single one of them. Near perfect shots. Big clan back in the lead. Nine rounds to eight. Hey, man. This is what you need to see. The Maniac called for this. Where was the CT scout on Nuke? Yep. Very fair question. You're just not gonna, you're not gonna win. Big's game plan, whatever. You need Searson to be hitting scout shots and off shots. This, of course, was an anti eco, but that's something for the confidence. Some really good early rounds, and as you said, as he stopped kind of looking down mid and seeing players, didn't have as much impact. Turn over to CT side, he could take control of things. As a lot of attention will go up, Cat. And talk about attention. You know, we've got a player asking for it, running into the top of middle. Yeah, 250 kill. What's going on here, boys? Getting a little too bigger, too big for your britches. And Searson's low as well. Dude, they're taking tons of damage. Like, just happy to fight these, but like, Tabson on the M4 now, 45 HP. Searson's on six. Mm -hmm. Was that worth it? If you'd well, gotten a kill for sure, but yeah, it depends. In hindsight, it, yeah, it depends. It just depends what they read. You know, if there was like a lower default or something. He's in a 
prime position. Goes for the boost and spawn. Mm, flash into long A. They didn't see anything, so Tizian will take to the corner. He's going to hear all those footsteps running up Cat, so now they know exactly what's coming. Searson trying to get out of danger. Man, he can't def Oh my god! You kidding god. me? He flashes he himself <laughs> to give them a damn chance. That's like style points. He takes one hand off That's the scout the and still MJ hits him between no the eyes. free throw right there. Hell yeah. Then Zanteras dunks the nade on cold. And that bomb's still not planted. CT's swarming this site. They're going to challenge and deny it. No money made by FaZe. Big on double digits. He really just flashed himself and then hit a flick. Yeah. He lit. It's like alley ooping yourself with a blindfold. I'm actually speechless. I'm angry. I could have. <laughs> For no good reason. I'm just. I'm mad. <laughs> Indiscriminate yelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Choke. Okay, the fast, fast cat. Well, let's hope that phase don't choke after that. Hey, hey. That's tough. I mean, he is, <laughs> regardless of whatever that was, one of the best, you know, car players. Like, very confident in that position. Knows how to get that second kill where most people get flashed off and only find one. Mm -hmm. There's a few, few people on that list. I think Searson is definitely one of them. They chasing? Go ahead. Nope. In the head. Oh, he stays Go on. Go for it. Perched on the ledge. Now taps is that bat. Flash goes oh. back. Perfect team play. And why not? Just keep extending the kill count. Maintain your man advantage. Yeah, you lose tabs, and so be it. You can still afford to take some calculated risks, and Tizian does exactly that. He is so good at that, actually, mm -hmm. pushing long. He always finds the right opportunity. Never does it too often. Yeah. Either. It's just the right amount of, you know, yeah. spice. Walk out from Cold Zero on mid. Tizian's going to clear Cat. Meanwhile, Keto locking down the B site. Just has to keep his head down. <sighs> Little mid contact. Searson dying. That could be a problem. Whoa. But Tizian should still have him. Cold... Oh, as long as he doesn't give him this angle. Well, Roki's going to come running back, and that's just death delivered on his doorstep. Well, if you guys... If you want to know exactly how far you're supposed to go, Tizian's showing you exactly how far that is. <laughs> just Eight on seconds. cat, there's just nothing you can do about this. He has a, a, and a powerful angle towards lower B. They haven't committed to his site. He can stop you coming back from indoors. He can flank you on cat, but not jumping down into, into mid, out the doors, overextending in any regard. Really good stuff, so... Three round lead. Double op. Oh, they can just go right for the double op. And I know this is, you know, they get really strong here. Keto's hot and cold. Mm -hmm. So. I think right now he's just, at least he doesn't have to be super hot with his roll. It's actually kind of a weird round to do this because of the situation of, like, phase of money. But. I was just about to say, he doesn't have to be too hot because he's just playing back B plat, right? Mm -hmm. We saw him do enough last round, but now he's going to get pressured. He lines one up through the smoke already. Xantera is here to lend a helping hand. The damage is fantastic. The death is done. Look at that pile of corpses. It's gorgeous and sickening all at the same time. Yeah. Oh, well, that's one way to help. <laughs> yeah, by help, I mean do everything. Yeah. Kirsten, uh, Ke Kirsten. Keto wakes up from his flash and goes, you stole my ace? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good to keep that opera up and alive, though. You know, heavy investment with that round. So Zantera is keeping the economic pressure off of the backs of Big. Now what are they going to do? Transitioning on to Long. Searson, now the sniper in position. FaZe can't go anywhere without being faced by snipers. Oh, man, I oh, wonder. I love this. Tabson's going to get loose. Yeah, true. Cold's keeping him honest, though. It's, uh, it, he, he, I don't know. Oh, he, he smoked it. Oh, my God. He smoked. Wow. Okay, so what's the play now? Things get so much more hairy. Yeah, and Rain's holding back and spawn for this push, so kind of nuts. I, I kind of wanted to know where that play was going to go, but I'm, like, not surprised that he dies if Rain's holding. So we'll see now what happens. Searson has been trying to maintain his presence on long. Mm -hmm. He's only at car, but they have no one on cat to worry about, so it could be a strong position. However... No, he's got a full nade set. That wasn't even his smoke there at long, so he's got 
everything to use. Oh, we saw one get run boosted. He plucks off rain. Oh. A second snap into Kierby. Lays the smoke at his feet. A flash that could definitely help as Keto comes oh God, running up from CT spawn. Another off shot. Cold's going to trade one. Searson, barrel to barrel, goes down at the hands of Cold. It's Santerez on for the clutch. Oh, no, he's capable of. He oh my God. Dink. He gets a. Oh, and he follows the up. He knows oh, the second player. So low. Already a quarter HP, 30 seconds. Molly to the feet, a jumping bit of damage. Now there's nearly nothing left. Santerez honing in on him. Just playing with his food and slaying player after player. Absolutely hunted. We saw Zewu hit that fantastic drop op shot on the A ramp of Vertigo. That was clipped because that was beautiful. We see some of the same here with Santerez predicting where the jumping player will land as opposed oh. to trying to track him the entire time and just doing damage to number one and number two. And then Olaf, I mean, he's he's just trying to get the bomb down, you know, relax. Wow. But that bad smoke, you need two smokes to cross now. They didn't have them. Bro, you the think that still be sufficient, but yeah, crazy. How I mean, does Searson live that How long? does Searson get those kills? Nuts, second shot. Craziness. Props to Keto as well, delivering when he has to. You know, it's not easy to run up from CT trying to help a player pin behind car when you both have ops. Oh man, I thought for sure that was phase to a ninth round. And they would have still been within three, but now it's very much big pulling away from this. A round they have no business losing here in the 22nd would lead us to believe we are staring a 14-8 score in the eyes. It's beady little black eyes for Big Clan. Phase like rats at the bottom of mid. We've seen attempts on the B split. Crisscross smokes go out. It's gonna lend them a bit of room to work with. An additional smoke to ensure nobody's in position. Zanteres with Keto holding the line. And it's good enough at the start. However, Kierby's the only man to still stand. And now he's gonna get himself an AWP. He doesn't have the bomb, but he's got the heavier weaponry. <gasps> There's the peak. He didn't oh, see four, it. Three, yeah. Ah, awkward. You Big know, clan with a 14th round. Uh, you know what? 4-3 is one thing. K Kirby plays on 800 by 600 black bars. Yeah. <laughs> it's still 4-3, but I mean, he's just seeing as he's seeing the least amount of Counter Strike <laughs> possible and the grainiest. I'm sure he could go a bit lower than that. I'm sure he's got RTX on 240 hertz monitor. <laughs> 800 by 600 black bars. Yeah, 900 FPS. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's got more FPS than the population oh. of Denmark. Oh my goodness, this is not looking good for FaZe. You can really feel Big kind of getting into their comfort zone at the moment. They've got three players stranded behind Big Blue. Frag dunked upon them. And Tizian's just going to keep cranking the heat. He's going to go for the peak and doesn't actually walk away with a frag. But Tabson, this is, I think, the play he wanted to make when he got caught out by rain. He's gotten himself all the way deep in T spawn, justifies big rotating everyone over and phase. I mean, they could definitely fight their way out, but think of the damage done early. No, not just that. Yeah, like Tabson with this Aang, they know with confidence that it's all over here, especially if they're just going to assume no one else has lurked. The amount of info he's got already. Oh man, they are so pinned in position. Utility, two smokes, flash, and a molly. Nothing compared to what Big hold on to. Tabson could just put a rock on his controlled key. He's probably gonna, knows he's going to be here for a while, waiting for them to approach A. Little do they know that they've been stalked. Oh, oh man, nice. Man. With a dink. Uh huh. Trying to find vision over top of it. There's still a world where FaZe just connects some critical shots. But obviously the odds stacked in the favor of Big. Molly hits the bomb site at the 22nd mark. Zanteras can just go for the wild jumping spray down. Tabson actually comes off of his flank because he has another Molotov. 15 seconds. They do drop Zanteras. Now everybody's over on Cat, and there's no Molotovs left. <gasps> Keto through the wall, onto the double. Third frags Tabson's, and Big Clan find 15. Hats off. It's marvelously played there by Big, Big Clan to have the fallback. Not even overplay that as well. It's information FaZe never Damn. got to learn that they had. 
And an, an insane shot from Keto. Very looking very comfortable here on CT side. Nice cat. Yeah. Yeah. And this could be the last round. Seven round lead every round. They've got to hear that sound. Phase on uh -oh. match point. Damn. Keto just rattling off with the op. You know, we, we kind of questioned his op when we saw the second one come out. Yeah. But he has just been instrumental. At first, I thought, ah, he's just going to be the B anchor. Let him be cool. But he's been peeking all over. And, well, this one's not quite over yet. Maybe peeking a bit too aggressively. You know, seven map and match points to work around with. You can take some calculated risks. But when it rains, it pours. And the man's on for the ace. Sitting pretty on his fourth frag. It's Kierby to take it away. Slides out from that B site to put a ninth on the board for FaZe Clan. Six more to go. Uh, nearing the post Nico era, Rain has put up some great performances. Yes, sir. Really, uh, you know, at one point on this team with three other legends on it, he was the star player of the roster. It's been it's been a long time since then, and it, you know we'd be hard pressed to believe the consistency could come back to that level. But what we've seen in recent times is some of that consistency looking very strong. With that 4K, it puts him at 20 on this map, but they're still six rounds down. So, big clan, yes. Well, do they even have to concede a round here? Keto's already got an opening kill, looking just on point with all guns at this. Yeah. At this point, I mean, it was his Mirage CT op or like the A site op that looked. A, a little bit out of place, yeah. yeah dropping time, some easy time. shots, but this... Oh, and this boost. Whoop! Belay. Second player connects it. You are right, though. That that one half of Mirage was definitely where oh. the... Okay, this could be it. Oh, no. Not like this. I mean, in fact, this probably is it. Oh, that was a crucial kill, especially considering Kierby struggles across Dust 2. Oh, oh God. come on! Give them a damn chance! Searson just playing around with them, trying to challenge the window yet again. Let's see it rain. Clutch to keep this game going. He's got Searson just outside of the doorway on 37. Tizian barely alive. It's Keto that should be the biggest issue, and Rain's gonna commit to staring at his feet. He lines up two bodies. Now it's all on Tizian. 13 health, and it's gonna be enough. Big Clan close on Dust, and after FaZe ran it all the way back in that first half, it's a near flawless CT side from Big. Wow, that was, I mean, that was Rain <laughs> giving it his damn best try. But Tizian, who definitely did look hot at times, coming through to end the game. I mean, every, I would say every half, except for that last one on Dust2, yeah. FaZe looked competitive. Funnily yeah. enough, it's 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 Dust2 where they, they don't look as well prepared. We had Cold Zero quoted as talking about how on Nuke, they didn't really have any special preparation going into it, really surprised themselves. Yeah, Maybe exactly. they'll start playing some more Nuke yeah. because of how 